Hey, what's up guys? This is Thicker Pocket, and today I want to show you how to fix this very annoying issue that you see in front of your screen. So, let's get started. So this is a very very annoying issue which happens a lot. It happens to me, it might happen to you, it happens to everyone. It's, and it's very very annoying. And the issue is that and you probably have done something to the app, you might have uh, a click to a button very quickly, or might have you saved somewhere in your game, or maybe something that you have done and the developer didn't test this out to see if it works properly. So for example, I have an issue with iNode iOS 10 Pro. I have no, I have no idea why this happened, probably because I click on a button very quickly, or maybe because a file corrupted while I was uh, doing stuff with this app, or I don't know. But it happens a lot. And I know that it happens when you are using the app. And I'm going to tell you that, the, that apps are not perfect, they are uh, developed by developers, and, it, and that's why developers need to test their apps to see if the app works perfectly. But still, there will always be a bug on the app which will prevent the app from working perfectly. So that's why this error happens, and we're going to show you to you how to fix this error. And it's very simple, but you have to restore the app to its factory settings. So you have to restore the app as it was the day you download the app from the Google Play Store. And in most cases, this is the only way to fix this. So the way that you need to fix it is also you need to, if you want, you can click on report. So you can send a report to the developer. And this is how feedback are done. So you uh, type the issue, type what you, what you did in the app, and then send it. And hopefully the developer will read your feedback and maybe do some evaluation to his app and possibly will fix the issue. Okay, so now how, how we fix this issue. So go to settings, then go to more and go and find application manager. So remember your application manager section won't be on more, or will be somewhere else, it depends on your device, but make sure to find application manager or applications or something like that, click on that, and find the app that caused issue. In my case was I know the iOS 10 Pro, so I'm gonna find this app. I scroll down, and this is the app that that corrupted and and click on that. And for that we need to go ahead and clear cache. So this is the first step we're going to do. And then you can go back and test the app to see if, if it works perfectly or something like that. And if it does work, if it doesn't produce any error or any uh, problems, then you have solved the issue. But if it still doesn't work, if you're still having this problem, then it's time to reset your app back to its factory settings. That means that you're gonna have the app as the day you download the app. So everything will be resetted. So for example, if you have a game, uh, if you play the game, if you have made progress on the game, you, for example, you have saved, on level two or something or something like that, then if you if you reset the app back to its factory settings, everything will be deleted and you're gonna start from the beginning. So how you do that? So you click on uh, clear data, and as you can see, there is a message here which it says that everything, every data that you have made in that application will be deleted, and you're gonna click OK, and then the app has been deleted to its factory settings and it's like using it as exactly downloaded from the Google Play Store today. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, please let me know down in the comments, drop a like, share this video with your friends. And if you are a new visitor to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button to, to check my latest videos, my latest tutorials and all of these videos that I upload to this channel. And I'm gonna see you in my next video. So, see you there.